of this game is becoming so realistic. Oh! Hi everybody, welcome back to the last Spaceships game tutorial. Today we're going to fix some errors in the cannonball that you will see right after the intro. And after that we're going to give some more special abilities to the, to the spaceships, so that we make this game the most awesome game you've ever seen. Well, maybe that's too ambitious, you're right. You ready? So let's get started. Alright, first of all let's have a look at an error that there is uh, in the cannonballs. I'm going to separate this, okay? so that the music doesn't prevent you from listening to me properly. And look, the mistake I was telling you about. If I shoot before the cannonball reaches the spaceship, the cannonball comes back to the initial point before hitting the enemy. How can we solve that? We're going to use clones. And uh, at the same time, we're going to create another special ability. This could be to our purple spaceship. So here in the cannonball, I'm going to separate this. And when I receive player one shot, uh, instead of doing this, the cannonball is going to create a clone of itself. Okay, we're going to use clones as we used in the Hug Your Window challenge. So let's go to control and create clone of myself. And this one's going to happen when it starts as a clone. All right, let's check it out. As you can see, the purple spaceship can shoot as many times as it wants. So that's an error we have to fix. Okay. Uh, first of all, in the purple cannonball, I'm gonna get rid of this block because we don't need any more because now we're working with clones. And I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do the same here in the yellow spaceship. All right, so let's go to the purple spaceship. We will go to the yellow spaceship later and let's fix that mistake. What we're going to do now is going to let us uh, implement another ability to the purple spaceship. The idea is creating a very attacking purple spaceship and a very defensive yellow spaceship. Okay, that's my, my proposal, but obviously you can do other things if you feel like. So to fix this, we're going to create a variable, two variables actually. The program is going to be may purple shoot, and the other one is going to be may yellow shoot. So, purple is going to shoot only when it is allowed to do this. And that way, we're going to use this and this. So, look. If may purple shoot is yes, this is going to shoot. So obviously at the beginning of the game, we're going to set may purple shoot to yes. But after shooting, right after shooting, we're going to set may purple shoot to no. So that you cannot shoot again. We're going to wait for some time. How long? That's your decision. I'm going to set it to two seconds. And after two seconds, Again, we're going to set may purple shoot to yes. Oops. I'm going to keep this verbal here only now so that you can see the way it works. Green flag, may purple shoot, yes. Whenever I shoot, it says no, so I cannot shoot again. When it's yes, I can shoot. So I can only shoot every two seconds, okay? One shot every two seconds. That's the idea. We're going to do the same thing here in yellow. I'm going to pass it there and where is it set? should be down here. Player 2 and may yellow shoot. May yellow shoot, may yellow shoot. And again when green flag clicked set may yellow shoot to yes. Obviously you have to come to the to the yellow cannonball 
and do the same we've done in the in the purple one which is create a clone of myself and when I start as a clone do this so let's see if it works it's perfect so they can shoot until may purple shoot and may yellow shoot is yes and as I've told you, we're going to give a special ability to the purple spaceship. So the purple spaceship is going to shoot every one second, instead of every two seconds, as the yellow spaceship can. So, uh, for the moment, the purple spaceship is much more powerful than the yellow one, but now it's the moment to give a special ability, a defensive special ability, to the yellow spaceship, okay? So we're going to let the yellow spaceship create a shield, okay? Like a barrier that protects him from, from the cannonballs, but only for a short period of time, all right? So that's gonna be our next step. So first of all, we're going to create the shield. New sprite, I will take the circle. The fill is gonna be blank. The outline is going to be red in my case, but you can choose any color. And the line width is going to be like 20. So let's create it here. And let's position it like here. And now we're going to take the eraser. And I'm going to erase this, which is completely unnecessary. And there we have it. So first of all, let's code it. When I click on the green flag, this is going to go always to the yellow position. Motion go to yellow, uh, where is it? Player two position, sorry. So if you see this is not uh, correctly placed, go to costumes and fix it from here, okay? So if I move the yellow spaceship, it comes with me. But at the beginning of the game, when I click on the green flag, I'm gonna hide it. And I'm going to show it when one key is pressed. Let's have a look at the yellow spaceship. We've used K to go down. We've used, uh, sorry, we've used P to go up and L to go down and K to shoot. So we're going to use O, for example, which is not used and it's close to those keys. So when O is pressed, we're going to show it's going to be shown for two seconds, for example. So let's wait. Not until, sorry. Let's wait for two seconds. Then we're going to hide it. And after hiding it, we're going to wait like five seconds. That way, won't, uh, yellow player won't be able to use the shield until these five seconds have ended. Let's call it shield. So let's see if it works. I press O, it works. But if I keep on pressing O, it doesn't work. Fantastic. And now, important, we're gonna go to the purple cannonball and uh, when touching player two, it or the shield, it's gonna stop doing this and delete the clone. So let's modify this a little bit. We're going to take another R. Let's place it here. And let's take touching player two, edge or shield. So in that case, this is going to disappear. And if you want, we can set the shield to disappear, to hide if that's in the purple cannonball or not. That's your, your decision, okay? So let's try. I'm going to shoot, we activate the shield, and it stops it. Okay, but now I cannot use it. Okay? 
if you see that this is too easy for, for the yellow spaceship, we can put it to one second and this one to 10 seconds, okay? So in this case, you have to play. I and mean, if you see the yellow spaceship is much better than the purple spaceship, you can modify these times. Or you can let the purple spaceship uh, shoot faster and put in here, for example, 0 0.3 seconds, okay? So that's something you have to, to try and to decide. So that's all for today, guys. As I told you at the beginning of the video, there are plenty of things you can make in the game, but we're gonna stop here, okay? I've done two extra things that I'm going to show you now, but this time I won't show you the step-by-step, -step, but only the final result and the code, okay? First of all, I've added a sound to the shield. I remind you, these sounds can be taken from soundbible.com. After that, I've added a remote control cannonball that can be used every 30 seconds, okay? And it has point towards player two and move, move five steps. So look at how it works. Okay, it's constantly pointing towards player two, so it's impossible to, to dodge this ball, this cannonball, unless you use the shield. Look. Okay, the shield can protect the, the yellow spaceship from the, from the remote control cannonball. That's the way I have coded it, but obviously you can, you can uh, make your own decisions, okay? And the last thing I've done is this. Here, player two has this ability, the ghost effect. You have to go to looks and take set color effect this one and change color by ghost. Uh, what does it do? Yellow spaceship becomes invisible. Invisible means that it cannot be seen, obviously, and it can shoot. But if purple spaceship uh, shoots and touches uh, the, um, the yellow spaceship, it's going to lose lives. Look at it. It's with key I. It shoots that lose lives okay so that's the idea and those are some of the of the improvements I've decided to do I hope you like them obviously uh, as I've told you in the previous videos I want you to use your creativity and try to do different things from the ones I'm showing you here and I hope you guys liked this series of tutorials I'm going to stop here there are many things we could do but I prefer to, to start doing something different. Don't forget to leave your project link in the comments, subscribe and smash the like button if you liked it. Bye bye.